Hi guys, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to check if a string is a palindrome or not. So what's a palindrome? A string is a palindrome if when reversed it remains unchanged. So without wasting time let me get started. So I'll declare my local class as class lcl underscore pal definition in the class okay and in the public section I'm going to uh, create uh, an instance attribute l underscore value which is of type string okay and then I'll have my constructor method okay importing that value type then I'll have my uh, check method okay so basically I'm going to uh, I'm having a constructor which is initialized the uh, attributes and then I'll have a use a check method okay with this check method what it does is it will check if the string l underscore value is a palindrome or not okay then I'll have my class implementation in the class okay then the method constructor I'll first implement the constructor class okay I'll just equate the value then I'll implement the check method okay what it basically does it has to reverse this value and check if it is a palindrome or not okay so I'll declare a local uh, variable which is l underscore which is of type string okay and then I will reverse the respective uh, value which I'm getting which I'm passing okay then I'll write a condition if l underscore reverse equal to l underscore value then what then write then we need to write I'm a palindrome I am a palindrome comma what is the value l underscore value okay so I'll just okay else else what if the uh, string entered is not a palindrome it has to print I am not a palindrome okay now we'll end this if okay so I've successfully implemented my uh, check method here I'm taking the value l underscore value okay which is instance attribute I'll reverse that and I'll pass it to the local l underscore reverse okay here and then if it is both are equal there is a palindrome or else it has to print I'm not a palindrome okay now now let me go with the start of selection I'll declare an object reference o underscore pal type ref lcl underscore pal then I'll create the object o underscore object o underscore pal okay exporting I am underscore value equal to first I'll give the name as Hindi okay okay so I'm passing Hindi here to check if Hindi is a palindrome or not so we all know that Hindi is not a palindrome why because if you read from left to right it is Hindi and if you read from right to left it is I D N I H okay so it's not a palindrome now to check if it's a palindrome I have to call the check method 
okay now similarly I'll create one more object I'll just copy this and I'll paste it here again so this time I'll create a different instance a second instance and I'll pass uh, a palette huh, which is a which is Malayalam so I'm, I'm just checking if these languages are a palindrome or not first I'll pass Hindi which is not a palindrome and Malayalam if you read from right to left it's Malayalam if you read from left to right then also it's Malayalam okay so I'll check this check the syntax syntactically correct activate the program Okay, I'll creep a breakpoint on line number 37. Execute it. Press F5. Value is getting stored in the instance attribute. Okay. Then I am going to use the check method. I'll reverse it. What is the value? Value is Hindi. Reverse value is Itne. So it's not a palindrome. I'm not a palindrome. It's printing that. And then I'll check the next method. I mean, I'll create the next instance in which I'll get the value as Malayalam. And then I'll use the check method. It will print I am a palindrome. So I'm not a palindrome Hindi. I'm not. I'm a palindrome Malayalam. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new videos very regularly. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.